What's going on guys? How you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, it's been a long time coming. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, sorry. <coughs> First of all, let's get this out of the way. My new shirt. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And on the back. Huh? I don't even know how that looked. We won't even worry about it. Found a new lady in my town that does shirts. These are sublimation, ink sublimation uh, shirts, not vinyl. It is ink. If you want one, let me know. The image is actually supposed to be a little smaller. She didn't really size it up right from looking at the picture. But uh anyway, the pic that's supposed to be a little bit smaller, more about like so. And uh but yeah, anyway. Tell me your color, tell me your size, address, all that good stuff. I sell them twenty five dollars. They spread a good message to get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. On to the news. As you know, I took my bike to the bike shop a couple weeks ago, almost, yeah, right at a couple weeks ago, to get some work done. If you've kept up with my videos on my Project Rally Redux, you know I've had problems with the drivetrain and I get into a certain gear and it starts slipping and freaking out and doing all kind of weird stuff. Go check out my videos. You can check it out and see what's going on. Well, I dropped a couple hundred dollars, guys. A couple hundred dollars. Look right here. That's the old stuff. Now I got, now I got stuff on me. Technically, the chain is not old, and technically, the cassette's not old, but. The derailleur and the shifter and the cable are all original, four years old. I do not want to get that on my new shirt. Guys, let's take a look, see at how I just pimped my ride. I don't know how well you can see it, but we do have Advent. Look at there. We have a clutch. We have an 11 to 42 tooth. We have a new chain. Okay. And we have a new shifter. New shifter. It says Advent, Micro Shift Advent, and they did run uh, a new cable as well. So, what this means, guys, is the bike came originally with an 11 to 32 cassette then I got an 11 to 34 now I have an 11 to 42 yes that is what I have plus it's now a 9 speed instead of the stock 8 speed pretty good pretty good stuff so all that with tax and the maintenance or you know the install whatever came up to 197 the micro shift advent right trigger shifter one by nine speed with bearing advent compatible only the shifter was 24.99 the micro shift advent rear derailleur nine speed medium cage black with clutch was only $59.99. That's pretty pretty good deal there. 
the Micro Shift Advent Cassette 9 Speed 11 to 42 Tooth Black ED Coated. $34.99. So all these things are very reasonably priced. I can't really complain. And the, the SRAM PC 9519 Speed Gray Chain with Power Link was $20.99. Labor was $45. I don't think that's too unfair. Uh, sure, it's $200 I didn't really have. But, uh, you know, I'm really up to date here, I believe. So, yeah, come up to $197.12. Um, now, I do still have oh, a couple of little things to add on that I haven't done yet. Because I was waiting on all this, uh, I do still have my new tires to put on. Brand new rubber. Uh, these were pretty much stock, what came on the bike to begin with. Uh, the Schwalbe Balloon Big Ben Plus. Uh, the Performance Line, the Green Guard, Snake Skin, all that good stuff. Um, so they should help out quite a bit. Uh, get me rolling a little bit better. And of course, I still have my my toughy tire liners that I have to put in. These are probably what's going to help out a whole lot. Um, I probably won't have to deal with any more flats, I don't imagine, for a long time. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that is... And I got a couple new tubes as well. But uh, I don't think I'm going to put the new tubes in right now because these are still holding up. Uh, the rear the rear tire on, on here uh, actually has a... Uh, I've actually got it patched two times, but it holds. Surprisingly, I actually got a, t uh, a patch and a tube and all that to hold. So I'm just going to clean them off, you know. Clean them off good and uh, stick them in there. I'll probably do that tomorrow or something. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do. But uh, I know tomorrow I'm going to go on my first ride since uh, getting all this back, getting it back and all that good stuff. Uh, not going to go out today. Uh, why? I don't really know. Because I had planned for tomorrow. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, guys, that is my Raleigh Redux project. And I'm pretty happy with it. That's where we're at. I'm looking forward to getting out and riding. I haven't ridden in two weeks. So, anyways, that's Project Rally Redux. We're pretty much done. I'm going to do a video, probably, of putting on the tires and the tire liners and all that. And uh, then we'll video our first ride and see how it goes. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed Hope you like the little Project Rally Redux videos that I do once in a while. Uh, it's been it's been a little journey, and I've had other ideas and things that I wanted to do all the way to replacing everything with drop bars on it and and really just uh, specking it out and you know going crazy with it. But I'm probably not going to do all that. So we're done. I'm going to get that stuff on. Done. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Have a good weekend. It's actually looking nice out today. It's supposed to be nice out tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to it. Hold on. I think I have a cat that's about to explode. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it, and have a good time doing it. We'll see y'all later.